What's up, y'all? Or good night, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to B's Bedtime Stories. So, um, it's quarantine time, and it's a great time to dive into a great book. So, tonight we're going to be reading The Happiness There. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, And this book basically just gives you tips on ways to be happy or to become happy um it's just an interesting read so if you like books or you just want you know to see what this book is talking about it's called the happiness there so let's check it out this page it says what stands in the way of happiness number one is these are our excuses number one is This is just the way I am. Many people falsely believe that they are condemned to unhappiness and thus can't become happier than they already are. Is that you? Like, how you feel about that? Um, I've been stuck in a rut before. I've I've felt like that. Number two. If I could be just like her or him, um, we give away so much of our happiness when we compare ourselves to others and hold ourselves up to fictionist standards. Now, it's like celebrities. We idolize them. We think they the stuff. We don't even really know what they go through or what anybody goes through behind closed doors. So, you know, they say comparison is the biggest thief of joy. So, I have to agree with that one. Number three, my life circumstances make happiness an impossible dream. Many people lose the will to fight for happiness when their worst nightmares come true. Like if you have a setback or somebody passes away or, you know, um, just anything that you wish would have worked out differently, it can deter you from moving forward, from going after your dream because you're so focused on what happened. Um, you can't just move on. So, yeah. <clears throat> Number four, if only I had blank you know fill in the blank if only i had more money if only i had the biggest house if only i had the finest boyfriend in the world the biggest with the big i'm just playing (laughs) we miss out on our happiness when we wish for what could be while neglecting and being grateful for what already is now that is a word for real because i mean enjoying the present moment that's what it's about like that's all we have right here in this moment so definitely listen to these four steps and let's apply them we're going through a lot right now through the quarantine um with this illness that's been spread and i'm not gonna even say the name so during these times, um, just meditate, pray, um, read some books that you love, and just stay positive, be around people who are positive, and just try not to, try not to watch the news when it's always just talking about it so much. All right, so, um, this has been Bedtime Stories with B. Um, I'll be with y'all next time. If you have a dope book that you're reading, send it to me and I'll, you know, read a page or something, let other people know. Um, and make sure to check me out on YouTube, Highlife TV Show. And I will check y'all out next time. Good night.